What's going on guys, it's Karen. Today we guys a pretty basic tutorial today and this is going to be creating a twitch.tv panel. So right here is an example that I did ahead of time and we're going to be making something just like this and here's going to be some other examples that I have thrown together. So uh, right here is you guys can see that it's going to be a twitch panel in the making and then you guys can obviously see that if you click on something it will be brought to a different kind of link. So I'm not going to be showing you guys how to actually add those to the link. I will make another tutorial on that. But uh, I'll show you guys another live stream uh, kind of panel example. And it's right here. I made this for Dare Paints, I believe his name is. And uh, they'll look really sleek. I'm going to pretty much be recreating this for the tutorial. So uh, ahead of time, what you guys wanted to go do is download my stock pack out of the description below. And also go download this layer style that I'm going to be using. And this is pretty much all you guys are going to need. And before this video even starts, if you guys can go and check out my new portfolio and go drop a follow, that'd be amazing just because it's new and I gotta pretty much show it off to colleges and everything like that. So uh, this is going to be a really easy tutorial to do and you're going to start off just making a new document and the size we're going to be using is 400 by 100 and all you want to do is just leave the white background the same. So this is going to be the beginning of the tutorial where you guys want to add your rectangle or your uh, pretty much your base of these panels. And you can pretty much make it as wide as you want, um, as thick as you want. I'm going to be making it about this wide. And then I'm going to just bring it down in the middle. And then what you want to do is just right click on it and rasterize. And then grab your uh, polygon tool. And it kind of just cut the corner off and just snip it off. Just because it creates more of a sleek look if the corner is just kind of an angled like that. And then just duplicate it and flip horizontally and just move it to the other side. So uh, right here is pretty much going to be your panel text where the text is going to go and then you guys can like center it and everything. And then uh, everything else will come together. So what you want to do is go open the stock pack and you guys are going to want to scroll down a little bit to the orange light stock. So after you got this, all you want to do is just drag it into your layer and place it in. It's going to be a little bit bigger than 400 by 100 which is obvious, it's an HD wallpaper. And what you want to do is just hold shift on the one corner and just drag it and make it smaller. And just place it on top so uh, after that what you want to do is just click on the orange light hold alt on the keyboard and it'll just bring a little clipping mask layer and you guys can pretty much put that on there and now you guys can just move it around size it to wherever you want or put it wherever you want it doesn't really matter so uh, this is not the only stock you guys can use I'm this is just the one that we're doing the tutorial and then you guys can make the color whatever let's just say we're gonna use purple again so uh, now that you guys pretty much use the stock pack, that's all we're going to be using the stock pack. The rest comes with the layer style. So what you want to do is click on the background and hit control I and make it black. So now we're going to be working on uh, black and we're going to use white colors. So the next thing you want to do is just make a new layer in the behind everything. Grab your polygon tool and grab a white color. And just kind of cl click in the middle of your, uh, your like uh, trapezoid. Hold shift and drag out horizontally hold shift and drag out down and then back to horizontal and just fill this with your foreground colors click contents and then put it to foreground and it'll make it white and then you guys can add that layer style to it and the layer style is not mandatory it just adds a uh, sleeker view and you guys can like move it around if you want and then you guys can just hit control J flip horizontally and just put this in the same spot there you go so uh, now that you have this, this is pretty much going to be almost your panel. There's little other things that we guys can add. So I'm just going to click these two arrows so they, uh, there's a little more space to work with. Make a new layer and uh, pretty much just click here anywhere you guys want. Hold shift and drive out, drag up diagonally and then just drag like slowly and like a really long diagonal into like the three like, fourths of the middle, whatever you want to call that, and put the contents back to white. So uh, you guys want to add that layer style back to it just because it's a little bit cleaner as I said before. And then you guys can just move this down. Hit control J and do the same thing. Edit flip horizontally and just drag to the side. So uh, now that you guys have that, what you want to do is start adding your text. So for text fonts, we're going to be using this uh, Liberator uh, regular font. And it's really nice. There will be a link in the description for it. And what you want to do is just pretty much type in your text. Um, I'm going to be using, let's just say template for this. And I'll drag it up above everything. And then you guys can change the font size. Um, for font size with this, I'm usually, I don't want to make it too big, but I kind of want to keep it in the center. So I'm using 45.88. And then what you want to do is just drop that layer style back onto it. So it looks really sleek. So uh, now that you guys have this, this is basically the uh, panel as it is right now. You guys want to add a little more extra things onto it just so it's not too boring. So uh, the next thing you guys want to do is just click right here on the rectangle 
make a new layer, and then click this orange light and drag it below this new layer. If that makes sense. So now that you have this, you want to grab your brush on like a size, let's just say like 80. Actually, no, maybe higher, like 150. Around 150, and you make sure the color's on white. And you want to click right here in the middle so it creates this nice glare. And just lower the opacity to like 30%. And then click on the orange light again, make a new layer, and then put the color to black. So now that you have the black, what you want to do is just take your size and put it to about like 50 or 60. And kind of just click in the corners places just to like the corners a little bit darker. And it's not so bright. And then you guys can lower the opacity back down to like 50 or so. So uh, now that you have this, what you want to do next is just minimize or close out of the background and you guys have this. So this checkerboard in the background means that it is fully transparent and you guys can add it to whatever you want. So uh, now that I have that, I can show you guys pretty much what it would look like. So if you go to file, save or save as, put it to your desktop or to a random folder, make sure it's PNG and let's just label this uh, template test. All right, hit OK, and then I'm gonna make sure that I'm using the right one because I have another panel on my desktop that I gotta worry about. <laughs> Actually, I'm fine. So uh, what I wanna do is just let's say we're going to Twitch.tv, and we're gonna edit these panels. Let's just say we're gonna click on here. I believe it's my Twitter one anyway. Scroll down, add image, and then put template test. And then I'll click it, it'll load the image, and then you guys can choose how big it is. And I'll add it. And then we'll just scroll up and hit edit panels off. And we scroll down. Refresh the page maybe. It should be there. I didn't click OK. Maybe it didn't work. Hmm. So uh, before this is loading, I'm gonna tell you guys right now that I did order my computer. My computer will be here in a few weeks and I'm actually super stoked on this. Yeah, it didn't work. So uh, pretty much when I get my new computer, I'm going back to daily uploads and I'm going to be making a lot of new things. So keep your eye out for that. Done. Twitch is really laggy for some reason sometimes, by the way. If anybody's uh, getting into streaming or something, there it is. So right here is going to be what it would look like with all your text under it. And you guys can see that's actually really clean and really nice to do. I'm making it a little bigger sometimes, but uh, it's really nice. So the last thing you guys want to do is make this fully editable. So what you want to do is just click pretty much the bottom layer above your background. And then click your uh, next layer under your text. Hit Control G, group it, saying don't touch. And then you can label this change text. And you guys are pretty much set. There's your background. And you guys are pretty much having your own Twitch panel. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And definitely leave a like. It only took about 8 minutes to do or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. For uh, 30 likes, I'm going to be releasing the template for this. So I hope you guys can enjoy this and really learn from this. Um, definitely check out my new Behance project. There will be a link in the description below. And also follow my Twitch.tv account if you guys want to see me stream more often. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below. And also, everything that you guys see in this uh, tutorial will be in the description. So I'll see you guys in a later video. Peace out.